Hi everyone, thanks for watching. And at, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna show you how to make a quick, easy, healthy, homemade chicken soup with leftover chicken. What we're gonna need is some chicken. Here we have some chicken. So the best way to do this really is to use any chicken that's already been cooked. Um, usually from the leftovers from a, a roast dinner or chicken that you didn't finish or even if like this is um, chicken thighs that were in the fridge for the last couple of days I don't really want to throw them away um, because it's, it's, the meat is good you know so what you do is you chop it up into little chunks like that and don't worry what this is this is a pan with a little bit of fry light in there so any fry light kind of uh, healthy alternative to oil you know give it a squirt in there just coat the bottom of it like that what I like to use is a little bit of chili so because I like it quite hot put some chili flakes in the bottom like that that should be enough now at this point I want to say that I'm a massive massive fan of uh, very lazy chopped garlic you can get that in most good supermarkets um, this stuff is absolutely absolutely vital for anything you want to cook with garlic without having to uh, smash it up yourself really all right so is the chopped garlic it's in there nice and oily it's absolutely fantastic stuff the smell on, on this stuff is amazing so that should be enough that goes in there like so all right now that the heat's on underneath that literally as low as you can go on that all right you don't want to burn the chilies you just want to let those flavors infuse together just lightly all right give it about a minute or two that's it gotta try and keep this looking half decent all right so now you've got your garlic and your chili and your fry light in there let that go for about a minute or two so the flavors can infuse together what we've also got over this side here is a chicken stock cube now you can use any cheap chicken stock okay boil your kettle as you would you can use oxo from aldi you've got quickso you know any chicken stock any chicken stock whatsoever you can use and let that dissolve in there right and we're back to the chicken now if we look in here things are starting to brown off slightly let's get a wooden spoon we don't want to tarnish any flavor with any metal going in there um, again so what we're going to do is we'll put the chicken in here so a lot of people have tripods and stuff i'm just because i'm going to be the one eating this so i use my hands so chicken it goes in there with the garlic and the chili and the fry light now at this point put that in the sink at this point if you wish to use a little bit of oil to stop things sticking that's entirely your call however what i'm going to do is use a tiny bit of water because i'm going to try and keep this as healthy as possible all right so a tiny little bit of water in there then turn the heat up just a bit all right give it a little stir you've got to remember that what you're doing here is you're reheating you're recooking chicken that's already been cooked so you want to make sure that this is going to be absolutely piping hot before you serve it up and it is going to be so we're going to just leave that to simmer for around about uh, four or five minutes on a low heat all right we're back after a few minutes what we're going to do now is we'll take this chicken stock that we've got here all right, pour it in. Cover the chicken, completely cover the chicken. I might actually add a bit more water to this. Um, nah, nah, that'll be all right, actually. Do you know what, a little bit more water, because there's enough stock in there. A little bit of water, okay. Now what you wanna do is turn the heat up on that again, bring it to the boil. Once it's boiling, turn it down to a simmer. Okay, now at this point, I'm gonna be turning the gas down. All right, now I want that to simmer there for a good 10 minutes. At this point, you can add sweet corn to it or peas if you wish. You know, you can add onion to it. You know, there's absolutely anything you can add to this if you really wanted to. You can add other chopped up small vegetables to it. Um, it's entirely your call, but for me, personally, this is gonna be a chili garlic chicken soup. Um, and there's only one more stage to this because we do actually end up adding egg to it. Right, now what we've got to do is we've got to turn the gas off completely. All right, now the gas is off. 
take your egg, and it depends on what you want to do with this, all right? Because I'm going to use one egg, but this is to add extra protein to it and also turn it into a broth. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. So, crack, crack, and without getting eggshell in there, which I've done, I'm going to have to fish that out. Oh, so annoying. Ah! Ha! Much, much need the professional. Oh, it's in there. Good. Get rid of that. All right, now quickly before that starts to set, as you mix it. All right, want all of that to get in there. Stir it completely. All right. And what that does is it turns it into a bit of a broth. And get the egg in there as well. That there looks delicious. All right, after that little bit of a debacle, fishing out a little bit of uh, eggshell, which I did actually get out. I'm gonna ladle some of this into a bowl. Okay. Transfer. Delish. Bit more of that in there. Chicken soup. Oh yes. Healthy chicken soup. Now what you can do as an option, saying you have to, I'm a bit more meat in that, I want some meat, is um, you can actually add noodles to it. So let me just get this out of the way. And there is homemade chili chicken soup. Absolutely fantastic. Sorry about the lack of professionalism, this isn't the best video in the world, but um, this is what I like to cook, this is what I like to eat. Very quick, very simple, very healthy. Thanks for watching.